Apple has finally joined the real world and added widgets to their mobile phones. Anyone that was previously an Android user had been missing it sorely. Now there's widgets on an iPhone. Today I'm going to show you five widgets that I use as a YouTuber. It makes my life so much easier. First of all, what is a widget? Well, it's a box that you can place on the home screen of your phone. It's much larger than an app icon and it has additional functionality. It can display text within, it can show graphical information. How do I install an app? Well, you go to your home page, you long press for a while until all of the icons shake. This is where you'd normally delete icons, but now you'll notice there's a plus in the top right hand corner. You can now scroll through a selection of widgets. These are widgets that the apps on your phone have compatible equivalents thereof. You then choose one. I'm gonna choose the podcast app in this Example. You can choose the size, small, medium, large, and then you click add widget and then it adds it to your home page. You can move it around the home page at any point by clicking and moving your finger up and down. You place it anywhere else. Now, if you're an Android user, you're used to this, but if you're an Apple user, this is new for iOS 14. Now, to help me create content easier, there's a few widgets that I would suggest. One, the battery widget. This is simple and it's clear and obvious. This is to help you understand how much battery life is left in your phone, especially if you want to record from that phone, do any screen recordings, make any audio recordings. Two, clock. It's a simple thing. It keeps track of time. So therefore, if you've only got a two hour time window, you can see it very clearly on your phone. Three, and possibly one of the most important ones here. This is your notes. I use it to jot down any video ideas, pad out titles, suggest descriptions, think of any tags or any trends that you wanna make a note of and know that you need to record. It can also act as bullet point lists for when you're recording a video. Four, the weather app. If you're going out and about to record content, I go for a walk every Sunday, for example. This will help you understand what you might need to take. You might need something to protect your camera. You might need to wear a coat, or maybe it's blazing hot, and now you need to understand that you're gonna be shooting in the shade, or it might be extra windy, so you might need a dead cat fluffy thing for the end of your microphone. It's always good to be prepared when shooting externally. Five, memory and internal storage. Now I'm using an app called Usage. Go to the YouTube app store, download Usage, it's free. And you'll see here that I've got a graphical representation of how much memory is left on my phone, free and used. Why is this important? Well, if any of you have ever recorded on a mobile phone when it comes to YouTube videos, you understand that you don't want to run out of space. You don't want to be saving and deleting and removing apps just to make sure that you can record that next chunk of your video. Get ahead of the game. Now, are you an Android user or are you an iPhone user? I'd love to know. Please leave a comment down below. And if you need more help with mobile tips and tricks, I've done a playlist here. And a video here on how you can listen to YouTube with a lock screen without YouTube Premium.